the trick step. My goal is to help you create a calm and pleasing home that you and your family can enjoy for a lifetime. With my products and with my sharing of my tips and tricks, I'm here to help you get the organized home of your dreams. I have so many products that will help you not only achieve the beautiful aesthetic that you desire for your home, but I will show you how to use each of the products to create a system that will last you a lifetime. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited to have Lisa on the air with us. You can see on Instagram, she's on Facebook. She's just a world-renowned organizer and she's passionate about really getting us organized in our lives. And why is that important? Because an organized life is just so much easier. You can kind of take a breath. You don't have to dig for stuff. You don't get frustrated. When you can see it, you know it, and you find it, it just makes life really, really happy. And this is all an hour to encourage you to find the right products to get you super organized. And Lisa's gonna share a ton of great tips too. And it's her premiere. Okay, this one is one of the smartest ideas ever. Now we had this on earlier today and it was extremely popular. I gotta give you an update already too. I think we got some scoop on this. It is, okay, we got a 1,000 left. That's it, guys. We have sold 1,700 already, so most likely that's gonna sell out in this hour. It's a set of two. They're totally washable. They're Lazy Susans, which is really cool. And you think, oh, Lazy Susan, what can I do with it? Oh, it's not just this. Wait and see what Lisa shows you. That's why these are almost completely gone. It is a set of two, and if you want to order them now, you can. Look at the price, $13.95, and it, you will be amazed at how many different things you're going to find you'll use these for. You're going to actually think, gosh, why didn't I get another set? I'm really going to promise you that, because you'll use them all over your house. It is a brilliant idea, and she'll share tips with you in just a second. Also, just FYI, behind me, that's coming up. How cool is that? We're going to take unused space and we're going to make it useful and then later on in this hour we have a this day only to me i think baskets are such a great way to get organized number one whether it's the throws the blankets the magazines it could be your knitting whatever it might be it's awesome to really get your life organized and these are beautiful they look like rattan but they're a poly the problem with the rattan it breaks down too easy you know you really can't beat up a rattan basket but when you have a poly rattan which is a faux rattan you get that beautiful rich textured look but they're going to stick together they're going to stay up they're not going to get all wobbly and sad on you like a lot of those other baskets do so those are going to be coming up later they're at a one day price all right this next item we're just going to have a moment together i can't encourage you to get enough of these if you have the junk drawer, if you have the drawers that are a hot mess in your kitchen and you're digging and digging and digging, or you just want that pristine look where you can see all the batteries, all the treats, all the snacks, all your hair stuff, all your makeup, whatever, please think about getting a couple sets. Guys, I have covered my house in clear storage containers like this. It's lovely because I'm visual and I can see everything, right? The problem is I spent a fortune on mine. This is a pack of eight and you get various sizes sizes for only $21.95. I am telling you, knowing high quality organizers that are built well and clear, this is a steal of a deal. Think getting multiples. So let's get Lisa on. Lisa, I am so excited to work with you. Yay. I literally have goosebumps Hi. because I'm 100% <laughs> into your philosophies and what you believe. And let's talk about it. I mean, you were, you know, you had a giant family growing up. Your mom was like a neat Nick, right? And that's in your DNA. <laughs> and you bring all those ideas to us tonight too. Yes, I do. I grew up the oldest of seven and I said early on that number one, I feel like organizing came as an automatic gift to me. So it, it was something I was born with, but growing up in a household, household of seven, I got a lot of opportunity to keep our house nice and neat. Like I said, my mom was the original neat freak. And so from her and from my parents instilling in me a great work ethic, that work came before play, it just created a great place for me to shine in my organizational skills. And you have bring this to people's homes. She does custom work. She's been featured everywhere. All right, Lisa, let's get into these. Was I right? Should people consider getting multiple sets of this first piece? Yes, they should. And I use these when we come to your client's home or I'm going to help you. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll give you all the behind the scenes tips. When we come to your home, we're going to put these in every single drawer. So 
I'm gonna show you one of my drawers right here. We're gonna put this thing together. So when we come, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna empty out the whole drawer. So take every single thing out, wipe it down. And then you're gonna categorize like with like items. Then you're gonna take these drawer organizers and you're gonna fit them to your drawer size. And because you get eight and they're all different sizes, you can mix and match. So I'm gonna build right here, I'm gonna build a junk drawer for you guys. I don't like to call them junk drawers. I like to call them the everything drawer. And I wanted to show you that in conjunction with the clear bins, I've also used a drawer divider. So let me show you. So I've already taken everything out. I've already sorted it like with like. So I have all of my pens and scissors in the six by 15. So that's gonna go in first. Then I've got my tape and my fasteners. That's gonna go right here. Now we love to play cards, especially at Christmas. So we always have decks of cards in our junk drawer. So those are gonna be right here. Then these two little ones, this has clippies and this one has extra car keys. Those fit perfectly right on top. And then you've got this three by 12 that finishes out the drawer on top. Then I added the drawer divider to hold everything tightly together. And on that side, now I can fit the rulers and my stapler. And so like that, how long did that take? One minute and you've got your junk drawer completely organized. Still, I mean, just to open up those drawers and everything's in its place and you go, oh my gosh, I need a stapler for something I'm putting together. You go, oh, I know where it is. It's right there and the staples are beside it. The ruler, and by the way, the drawer divider she just gave you a sneak peek at, those are also coming up. This is the moment where, and if you haven't gotten to clear, you guys don't even understand. Also think about using these in your fridge. Oh my gosh, when you start using clear containers, it's all the little juice boxes. It's all the little stuff you have in your fridge that's unorganized or it's just kind of thrown in there. I love these thinner ones, Lisa, because those are so handy, especially in bathrooms where you have much thinner or shorter or I guess more narrow drawers. These are amazing. Yes, I use these in bathrooms all the time. And so you can see the different sizes. These, I have these in my makeup drawer. So I have my, all of my brushes fit perfectly here. And then my, I have this uh, set for eyes and lips and all the different foundations that I have. And so everything stays nice and neat. Instead of opening the drawer and doing this rummaging around in the drawer, everything is gonna be separated like with like. That is a pro tip when it comes to organizing. You want every single thing to be separated like with like for a, several reasons. One, it's easy to find because everything like with like is in this one section. Second, you know when you need to buy more because this now has become the boundary where things fit, and when this becomes empty, then you know you need to buy more. There you go. All right, guys, a couple of quick notes. Again, if you've ever priced for the clear, and really good quality clear. Like, there's a lot of clear out there, because people are all doing this. We've seen Lisa, a lot of TV shows are featuring all these clear organizers. They're very, very, very expensive. If you go to that store that features a lot of containers, their stuff is outrageously <laughs> expensive for this kind of quality. Grab Lisa's. We have such a good price on this. And then I want you to write her a note or write a review on it, because it's transformative when you finally get all of those places in your life organized, even if it's just all your makeup. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier to find all of that stuff. You don't dig anymore. I've learned to really hate digging. I kind of put up with it when I was younger and my son was little and I didn't have time, but I think it was even more important back then to get organized because we don't have much time. But, oh, and my gosh, I don't know if you know this, Lisa, but I'm a huge crafter. Crafter alert right here. All of us have all of that stuff that could fit inside there that we want to grab our tapes our rulers all the stuff we use this is a dream come true to get eight of them so you're getting three pieces of three by three by two you're getting one six by six by two one nine by six by two okay. one nine by three by two one twelve by three by two and one fifteen by six by two there you go all right two things i want to show you the dividers they are coming up and you saw how lisa even made that drawer smarter by using it we have a set of of, uh, da, 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 where are they? Uh, we have a set of, is it four that we're showing? Okay, good, we have a set of four, or eight, so we have two, we have two different choices. So we have a set of four, right? Four, five, four, four, or we have the set of eight. We don't have the set of eight? Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I was getting something goofed up. Yeah, okay, that's a set of four, and they're completely adjustable. So we're going to get to that. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, right? And you can use that in a combination with the first set that you just saw, the plastic set of eight. Also, before I get all the way over here, guys, if you want the fabulous Lazy Susans, they're not your typical Lazy Susans, right? We've already sold 100 from the preview. There are only 900 remaining, and it is a set of two. These are a game changer. I'm just holding on to them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will not be able to order those because they're going to be sold out. All right, come on over here. I want you guys to see this. I'm actually going to go here to the back of the set. And I'm telling you, life just becomes such a joy when you're really organized. It's so wonderful to be super organized. And this is a wonderful way to be able to take a space that is completely unused a space that nobody even thinks twice about. And then all of a sudden you goes, oh my goodness, there's so much room for me to work with. And that's all about our, of course, get neat six tier over the door organizer. This is a brand new launch today. You actually get five baskets. You get the hooks, the poles, and Lisa's gonna walk us through everything. But how brilliant. Take that unused space, whether it's the bathroom door, in a closet, whether it's in, a, in the pantry or a kitchen door, and now really make it a part of your organizational world. Uh, Lisa, I love this design. Can you kind of walk us through what were the features you loved the most and why did you design it the way you did? So when I come into your home, the first thing I do is I'm gonna look for any real estate that is not being used. I call it wasted space. So behind the doors are a perfect spot to use and utilize all that space, especially if you have a small apartment or a small room. You're going to need to use the back of the door because this has so much space in it. And I designed these to be able to fit any door. So we have shorter doors in our house and then we have some really tall doors. And these work on both sizes of doors. I absolutely love them. And so you get four of these smaller baskets that are about three inches tall. And you can see that I've set mine up like a pantry. So I like to do zones. That's another organizing tip of the day is you want to create zones in your space because then you're always going to know this is going to be my breakfast zone so you can see i have a tall box of cereal it still fits the door still closes and then on the second shelf i have created a smoothie station a lot of you have smoothies in the morning so now you can put all of your ingredients into one basket and that's your smoothie station going down the list of on the door I have a lunch station set up and I love to help kids be independent. So here's lunch, guys. You can go fix your own lunch. There's soup and tuna sandwiches right here at your grab. And then what the other idea I have is I have dinner starters. So whatever you wanna make for dinner that week, you can create a dinner zone right here. So for instance, I have a bunch of cans of beans. So tonight we're gonna have nachos. So that gives you some ideas on what you can cook. And then the bottom basket is a deeper basket. It's about six inches tall. And I have added all of my snacks. So again, the kids can come and get their own snacks. You know how much room you have. They're deep enough to hold two boxes of crackers, a bag of chips or two. And then the very bottom, that's my very favorite thing, is I added four hooks on the bottom of the door so that there is not one inch of wasted space. And in my pantry, I have all of my cleaning tools you can hang your hand towels, you can hang your apron or your hot pads. Those hooks are perfect for whatever it is that you just need to grab really quick. Is, aren't these the most clever thing ever, you guys? Look how cute these are. Now, we have gray, sand, taupe, and white. So we have four different color options. And I wanna show you the baskets while we're down there, guys. This is the deepest one. And you're gonna see when I go from this basket to the one above it, there is, this is very, very deep. In terms of the size, it's 18 inches long. We're nine inches wide and 61 inches high. So this is nine inches, but you can see this is nice and deep. And then there's the shorter baskets as we move on up the four shorter ones. I'm gonna open my door so you can see there's simple instructions to install it. Just put it on the door <laughs> because you get all the hooks. Now here's what's really cool. Talk about maximizing your space. Look at this, this is so well balanced. I've got stuff on both sides. So this is all my kitchen, or this is actually all my crafting supplies. I'm pretty happy here, but look at this. This is all my laundry supplies. And I don't know if you guys, can you grab that Jed? He's got it. So I love it because you're talking about zones, Lisa. This whole thing's designed just to deal with your laundry. I think that's a brilliant idea. 
Yes, these work in every space. You could put it in a nursery, in your kitchen, like you said, laundry room. Even in the garage, you could hold your spray paints and whatnot. But the other thing I wanted to talk about really quick is it comes with two different sets of hooks. I have my hooks on here set for the thicker door because we have some solid wood doors in our house. But it also comes with a second set so it can customize and fit any door that you have. And I also want to talk about there's no tools involved. You don't have to have any tools to put it together. And there's no, um, there's nothing that's going to scratch your door either because they come with these little pads, felt pads. So your door is going to be safe, no scratches, no tools, no holes. So easy, like under five minutes to put together and you've created all of this usable space to organize any room in your house. Yeah, and it's useless space. I mean, the door is a door is a door. Like, who cares, right? I do want you guys to see something, if we can <laughs> shoot it this way, only because I want you to see how much room you can hold on here. For example, in this drawer, this level right here, I have two really big containers of detergent. And I can slide this one farther down. Let me just slide it over here. Watch this. And I can lift and put this one up here. Well, I guess I can stay on that one. But I could put more here. Just I'll move this. So I want you to show, we've got it a little bit spread out. Out, but you can certainly add more things to a single um, uh, basket than we're showing you. Um, and look, I love it. I, the irons there. It's all put away. There's your lamby balls there. There's our little softener right there, our softening sheets. We've got cleaning tools. And I love the hooks down at the bottom. How many of you have a laundry bag where you put your intimates in there before you're going to wash them? Or you've got towels, you know, because you're doing cleaning. I love it. They could dry on there. And those hooks are just so darn clever. Now, the most popular one is the white you're seeing right here. And obviously that to me is super decorator friendly because white can go anywhere. I love this. You've got that little teeny closet and you're like, you know what? There's a door there. I'm going to use it for something. And it gives you, Lisa, a, a tremendous amount of additional space once you put this behind the door. It really does. And talking about the different colors, I have some clients, I'm sure you guys out there too, have a, like a wood colored door. Well, that taupe color looks so pretty on a solid wood colored door. It kind of just goes away. So however you want to use them in any space, you can mac make, make it match your design. And the great thing about these is if you move, you can take these with you. You just unhook them off the door and take them to the new house. Well, and also, Lisa, think about this. How about the basement? How about you guys have an area out in the garage and the kids have all the stuff, you know, they're going to put all their, I don't know, it could be their part of their equipment for the baseball game. They got all baseballs in here if they want to. Uh, you can put gloves in here. Maybe you want to put this near the front door in the wintertime and you've got a, you've got a, 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 you know, a closet in the front hallway. You open it up and everybody puts their mittens because these are plastic and they're, they're, they've got air circulating around them. So if this just becomes your entire mittens, hats, and scarf world, that's an awesome use for it. Here we've decided to put our dry goods in here and it gets even better because we're putting containers within containers that are all beautifully labeled, which I know Lisa recommends. It's just, it really is awesome. If you need that pasta, you know exactly where it is and you can really see it holds a lot and it totally takes a crazy unused space like a, you know, dumb, dumb door and actually makes it really useful, which means you free up more space. You're way more organized and you're using real estate that quite frankly is kind of useless all of a sudden becomes your favorite real estate you'll look at every door in your house differently right Lise you'll be like oh no 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 I need one of those right here this is going to work right there in that bathroom <laughs> absolutely and I love that you talked about it by the front door because this can become your drop zone yeah. you can put all Great the things idea. that the kids need to walk out the door for school you can hang their lunchbox on the bottom the other thing I wanted to mention is that you can rearrange these baskets so you can, if you want the large basket on top, you can do that. If you want that bar that's across the bottom, you can move that on top. I've done it where you can hang coffee mugs up here and have it be your coffee station in the kitchen. So there's so many different ways that you can mix and match to fit your needs. And I will help you. If you need any help, I'm here to help you which we love. And of course, you can go on Instagram. You can go on her website. She gives lots of tips. She does videos. She's interviewed by lots of people on with, you know, really gives you all these terrific ideas. Um, that's the gray, by the way, behind me. Uh, this is going to be officially, I think we're calling this one. Is this sand? I believe this is sand. Oh, this is taupe. 
And then I'm gonna open the door, you're gonna see the white, which makes me smile. It just looks so nice and pristine. This makes me happy, you know? And it'll make you happy too, because nobody wants to dig anymore. You ever try to get under a cabinet and you're just digging in there and things are falling out, or you tip something over and you can't reach the back of it? Just get yourself a couple of these and transform your living space. Because, you know, Lisa, your clients, it's too bad we don't have a video of their reaction to before to after you come in and organize their home. It changes the whole environment. It literally changes your life when you get organized, doesn't it? It absolutely does. So that's what it, that's the beautiful thing about getting organized is because we will transform your space. We're gonna make it aesthetically pleasing. We're gonna create zones. So you're automatically gonna know exactly where everything in your house is supposed to live. And then it'll be a trickle down effect because the whole family will get on board. And when it's aesthetically pleasing, you're more likely to keep it organized. That is proven. And when we go to clients' homes, the look on their face when we get there, and we are a no judgment zone. We are there to help, literally. We have seen it all. So when we transform their space, I've had clients start crying because they're so happy and so excited that we have been able to transform their space. And once, like I call organizing an investment in your peace, in your sanity, once it's organized and you've invested in these systems, you're done. You don't have to buy anything else. There is an item, by the way, coming up that I bought for my kitchen cabinets. Now, I, I told Lisa earlier, I live in under 700 square feet. I really live in a very small space. I love it, I've learned to love it, but I've also learned that every absolute inch counts. And when it comes to your spices and in your cabinet, we have an item coming up that I'm gonna almost insist you buy. It is one of the best buys I've ever made, and I've seen it elsewhere, but never at the price you're about to see and the deal we have coming up with Lease. So stay with us, because we are gonna totally get you happy and completely organized. By the way, the Lazy Susans, the set of two, we're down to the final 600. We're gonna do a really truncated presentation of those, so if you are thinking about getting them, order them now, and then you can see all of Lisa's great ideas in just a second. But again, look at this. Can you imagine the joy of this? I mean, how many of you have your laundry detergent? It's all smushed on a shelf somewhere or it's, you know, and you're looking at your door in the laundry room saying, well, why not just transform it? Clean up your space. Visually, it makes a huge difference. You know what you have. It's easy to grab. How many of you have to dig through stuff just to get trash bags, you know, and they're all crumpled in a pile, you know, underneath your sink? Nah, get this. How many of you have a lot of cans good? Maybe you love going to the big stores where you shop in bulk. Get all that organized and you know where it is and you know what you don't have, which Lisa, I thought that was such a brilliant idea because when you can visibly see, oh my goodness, I'm running out of dog food cans, you know, I can then go buy more <laughs> instead of wasting my money. Absolutely, organizing does save you time and money because you do have a place for everything. Everything has a boundary and a place to live. But I do wanna give you a couple more tips on where you can use these over the door organizers. So I do a lot of clients' homes that have kiddos that share bedrooms. So these are perfect. Again, I used to be a teacher. I love to help kiddos be independent. So think about this. Pajamas, socks, undies, t-shirt. On the bottom four hooks, you're gonna hang the outfit that they're gonna wear to school tomorrow. How much time is that gonna save you in the morning? And if you have a couple of kids like you showed, one can have one on one side and the other kiddo can have one on the other side. And you've created a makeshift dresser and have made your morning routine so much quicker and easier. Yeah, and I'd love that too, Lisa, too. If you just put it in your bathroom, uh, behind the bathroom door, and it's all of your hairbrushes and all the tools we use to get ready in the morning, you really are gonna love it. By the way, almost a 1,000 now gone. The white is the most popular by far. All right, guys, now, you've seen Lazy Susans out there, right? But they take on a whole new meaning when Lisa gets a hold of one, and she's created a beautiful design. I love this. I love the lip on it. I love how smooth it rolls. You're getting a set of two exclusively here at HSN, and these are almost gone, so I wanted to give you one more look Look at it. It will be a very short presentation. We're going to make Lisa squeeze in all her ideas very quickly because those are going to sell out. All right, coming up, an item I would never be without, and I love it, and I'll share why along with Lisa in just a second. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life.
My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Not only will these systems work for your home, I have customized products that will work in almost any space. And I am here to help you and to guide you and to show you where the best place to use these products are. My goal is to create three places that each product can live. And I can't wait to talk to you about where I will use them. And that is Lisa. She's joined us. She is the creator behind this really tremendous line. Once you realize you start to super organize yourself, life absolutely becomes so much easier. You don't have the craziness and you visually don't have the craziness. And if you're kind of crazy like I am, every little bit helps. <laughs> All right, Lisa's rejoining me. Of course, she's going to give us some great tips on our next set of two items. Now, there's a couple options here. First color, you can choose, do you want the gray or do you want the white? It is a set of two. These are going to be your your linen baskets. Now, then you're choosing size. We have the small, which is 15 by 10 by nine inches. We have the medium size, which is almost 18 by 12 by 10. And then we even have a large set, which you're seeing down below with the big towels. That's 21 by 13 by 11. So Lisa, what? why do you love these? Why did you add this to a part of your line? So I love creating visually clean lines. So I want to take away that visual clutter. And what better way to do that than to put things in a basket or a bin and see, you don't even know what's in here, but this is filled with pasta. So this can go in my pantry. The visual clutter is gone and it has a beautiful label, which these are part of my collection. And now all of your pasta is in here. So I love to create aesthetically pleasing uh, places in your home, like I mentioned earlier. And why I designed these is because these are color coordinated. The whole uh, collection is color coordinated to mix and match. And they're gonna go with almost any style of home, any design, again, they're usable. You can take them anywhere. But this is, for example, this is the small one. This is in white. I love that it has the hard bamboo rim. So it's very sturdy and it has handles so that you can carry it around. And then of course I added a label. So at a glance, you can see that this is pasta. And when I get down to one or two bags of pasta, then I know it's time to buy more. So what would you rather look at? A bunch of bags of pasta on the shelf or a beautiful linen basket filled with your favorite dinner item. I love this before and after because I think we can totally relate to this, Lise. Let's talk about, ooh, that mess. <laughs> Like I said, I'm in no judgment zone. I've seen it all and I'm here to help you. So linen closets, they're an open and shove situation, right? right. So let's take these linen baskets. Let's take, break it down into the king size sheets, the full sheets and the twin sheets. Let's label them so you can quickly go find what sheets you need for whichever bedroom. Let's put the, all that toilet paper in one of these poly rattan baskets that we're gonna talk about later. And let's clean it up so it's visually pleasing. Again, there's those Lazy Susans on top like you were talking about earlier with all the cleaning supplies up high so the kiddos can't get them. And it just creates a visually pleasing space. So when you open it up, your eyes just have a place to land and you just kind of have this ah feeling when you open up a beautifully decorated uh, closet 
full of these linen baskets. Well, Lisa, you know what I love is, especially if you're talking about busy moms with little kids, you know, they got, you got a living room and it's basically become their playroom. And it's so frustrating, especially if you're a working mom or a working dad, whatever it is, and you come home and there's just a hot mess everywhere. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I worked all day. I've got the three kids. We've been running in the car to all these things. And you walk into your living room and it just looks like, you know, a toy bomb has gone off. By getting a couple of these things, you don't have to spend a whole lot of time organizing inside them. This is the way that you neatly just toss all the Legos in here, toss all the stuffed animals in here, toss all the games, toss all the Barbie stuff in here, and then all of a sudden, within minutes, because all you're doing is labeling them, and even the kids can help you out, at the end of the night, you say, all right, everybody, put the Barbie stuff in here, where's the Barbie? It becomes a lesson in helping your kids get organized, they'll help you, make it a fun game, and then your living room at the end the night is all so neat, but you haven't had to nitpick and put every Lego in its own color in a box. You literally just toss everything in here and hide it. Also, that goes true for all your magazines. Look at a whole pile of magazines sitting on an end table, your coffee table. That adds tension to a room, believe it or not. Let's hide them. How about all those remotes? How about all the games your kids play? Let's all, how about the little controllers? Hide them all, and then all of a sudden your room just takes on this whole different different energy, doesn't it, Lisa? It does. Let's take away that visual clutter. Let's, like you said, make it a pleasing space to look at. You can put your, your blankets for the, for the couch on, in there. I have the large Great one idea. filled with beautiful rolled up towels. I mean, does that not feel like a spa? So if you have a guest room, you can take one of these and you can make a guest room basket to set on the bed with towels and maybe some fun slippers, bottles of water. There's endless amounts of ways that you can use these baskets. I have this one filled with all of my scarves. Now, I like to do file folding. That's another quick tip for the night. File fold. These are all my winter scarves. So again, it's labeled in my closet. So if I want to wear a gray scarf, look at this. I just pull it out like a book and the whole basket still stays clean. So file folding is another big tip within the basket. But I do love what you said about the toys because it doesn't matter what how it goes in here if it's all the same all the toys all the plush animals all the whatever it is that your kids love to play with it's in here the visual clutter is gone like you said in two minutes the living room or the toy room is completely cleaned up and you have a fresh start for tomorrow yeah, and you'll go to bed. Honestly, it's crazy. Once you really start getting super organized, you stay organized, it's easier to be organized. You know, Lisa, I know your clients sometimes are overwhelmed with the idea of where to start. Let's talk about that because, yeah, it might be a bit getting started, but once you have the system in place, it's quite easy to live a life like that. It sure is. So you just have to, sometimes you just have to start small. If you're overwhelmed, you're not going to do the whole house in one day. Now, we can't even do that. We're the professionals. So what I always suggest is if you're overwhelmed and you want to get organized, start with one drawer. Start with that uh, junk drawer that we talked about earlier. If you start with one space and you have 15 to 20 minutes to tackle it, you're going to finish that project. It's going to be done and you're going to feel a little victory. And pretty soon you're going to turn around and your whole house is going to be organized by those little victories because they add up. Yeah, you're right. And again, then you then all of a sudden keeping it all that because I think some people, Lisa, see this and go, "Oh yeah, sure. You're at least your house looks great. You got all the stuff organized behind you. I don't have time to do all that." Once you do get it in place, it be it's it's so much easier because you know where it goes. You know where it goes. So when you buy it, you put it there, and boom, it's there, and it's got its own little home. And then it just life is easier. It, it, you just have no idea how truly relieving it is to get your world organized. And it adds so much more stress when it's not organized. So you'll find you really do have a different energy in your home when you do things like this. All right, small, medium, large, you're choosing. Do you want the white set or do you want the gray? I know the white is the most popular right now. Okay, I want to show you a couple more items that are really adorable. Look at this. You know, one of the real tips about organizing is get things out of its boxes because you can't see it typically you won't use it, uh, right? Or you just don't know how much is left in there. Well, how about these beautiful jars? I think these are gorgeous. It is indeed a set of two. They are glass jars. They have this big, really, really beautiful lid. It even has a little rim right there. So it's gonna keep things fresher longer because of that rubber rim. There are how many left? I'm sorry. 
Oh, there's only 300 sets, and look at the size. I mean, that is a whole lot of delicious cookies inside there. So get them out of the boxes, put them in here, stack them out so everyone can see them and eat them and use them. And again, just, you know, just clean up your space. <laughs> it makes life so much better. All right, I do one more quick mention. Look how pretty these are. We're gonna talk about the next one, which is our stackable bins. And I think I saw this behind Lee's too. Here they are. These are great too. And this is for those places like, you know, under your kitchen cabinet or out in a hobby area where you need to stack bins. You've got that shelving space and you know, they can hold a whole host of things. That could be toiletries, it could be soaps, it could be your Beekman stuff inside there. It's a set of two once again, and that is a this day only. I have another one coming up with our poly rattan baskets, but that is a this day only right now for $21.95. And that's another one I think it's a smart idea to get multiple and it's great for under the kitchen sink. All right, oh, we're doing Lazy Susan. All right, now we're gonna do the Lazy Susan. I went too far. We do have an item coming up that I absolutely cannot wait to get to, and I'm gonna highly recommend everybody get it because it is a massive game changer, especially if you live in a small space like I do. All right, Lazy Susans, how many do we have left, Kevin? There's 400 left. This is gonna be very quick. You get a set of two. They move beautifully. They're really well made. I love this edge on them. That's important. Lisa, I'm gonna let you take over and give us all the ideas you can before they are sold out, my love. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so these are our go-to. So if we, we always have Lazy Susans with, them, with us in our car because we use them literally in every space. So I wanna show you mine really quick. I use these, this this one I have set up for underneath my sink. So I have my my vegetable brush right here in this jar. I have all of my cleaners. I like my countertop around my sink to stay nice and clean. So I've designed this so it can fit under the sink. You can use it with that stacking bin like you talked about in conjunction. All of my products are mixed and matchable. So they're made to use together. The other one I have set up here is all of my hair products, my bathroom products and hair products. So again, really quick, if you That's want to great. turn it around, nothing's going to get lost in the back of your cabinet because you're going to be able to see everything you have and twirl it to bring it up. Don't forget about that middle section. So right here, I have a jar, a little glass jar that I have all of my nail polishes in. So in between all of my hair products, I have this beautiful jar down there setting in there with all my nail products. So it's they're, they, they work everywhere. And one of the spaces that we use them that people cannot believe we use it it's always they always laugh when we use them we put these in garages so if you have those tall you know those shelves in your garage put these on top and put all of those chemicals that you use for the yard or the garden whatever those can now be all lined up on your lazy susans on top in the garage and the chemicals are going to stay out of the reach of the little kiddos but because it's up high you're not going to be able to reach clear in the back of that shelf you have it right up at here at your fingertips because you're going to bring it forward and grab it right there in the front. I'll tell you another one's going to blow you away right here. It's in front of me. All the condiments in your fridge. Literally put this inside your fridge. How many of you have to move five things to get to the mustard in the back of the fridge, right? No, 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 no. If you put one of these in your fridge, all of a sudden you're going to walk up to your fridge, open and go, oh, I need the mustard. And you just slide it and go, oh, oh, there it is. And you grab it. You're not having to move three things to get behind it to get to the other stuff. It's literally all just right there. And the first time you do this little move in your fridge, you're gonna be like, I am so glad I got those Lazy Susans. Now, I also wanna talk, Lisa, about the quality. These are beautifully made. They've, they're very smooth. The ball bearings are fabulous. Obviously easy to take care of, but a beautiful, nice, sturdy Lazy Susan. Thank you. I am so proud of these. And I have used every product out there, right? Because I've been doing this for five years and coming to you and in your homes and showing you all my tips and tricks. This is size is 11 and a quarter. So this is going to fit nearly every cabinet depth and every pantry shelf depth because I've studied it. I know exactly wow. what you need. These are perfect in the corner of your pantry. How many times are you doing this in trying to get what's in the back of the corner of the pantry? You can't find it, so you go buy more, and then pretty soon you have how many jars of whatever because you, could, you didn't know what you had. So these are perfect. Also, you put all your vegetables on it, like if you have fruits and veggies and you want to, oh, it's just a million, oh, they're sold out. <laughs> Lisa, you got to bring a whole bunch of those back in, okay? I'm just saying, but they are gone. All right, now we're going to move on to this next thing. Now, I had said earlier, I 
really getting organized has become paramount for me. And my husband, he loves to cook. He's the cook in the house. And um, he has an issue with buying more fancy salts and more spices and more hot sauces than anybody I think on the planet. Now you must remember, I'm under 700 square feet. I do not have a ton of kitchen space. So I was desperate because I didn't know how to maximize my cabinet shelves when it came to all those spices. And I discovered something very similar to this, but I will tell you quite frankly, I spent a lot more money on mine, but it was 100% a game changer. Because when I open up, I, at least you know I have these, I open up my cabinet, I can see the salt spices, I see his spices, we see the stuff we don't use very often, and I can reach them all. Now, you're getting a set of two, and you're choosing, do I want the black or white? I actually have black in mine, because I think it kind of makes things look like it dissolves away. But Lisa, I love the fact that they slide, they're totally adjustable. To me, this is a must-have in every single kitchen cabinet. Exactly, it is. And we are in cabinets all the time. And again, you wanna be able to see what you have in the back there. But I wanna tell you something, Suzanne, that's really unique about mine. So most expandable organizers, you have to use them in conjunction with each other. These you can, but if you have a space where you wanna use them separately, that is the beauty of these. They can be used separately. So that is my favorite thing about them. So I wanna show you, they, they are like, 13, they open from, let's see, 10 and a half to 13, I don't know. You guys can figure out the size. I'm always, I'm bad with numbers. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you that I have, people ask me, do you want to use these for spices or can I use them for cans? And the answer is all of it. So here's a spice jar. I wanna see, you can see how nice it fits on there. Then you've got, or you can you do your cans, right? You've got all your canned goods that fit. But then look at this. The big box store cans will also fit. That is a plus because everybody has multiple sizes of cans or spice jars and every single size will fit. Yeah, Lisa, I, again, you guys, grab these while we have them available. If you do have not organized your space. Now, here's the thing. There are some plastic. I did a lot of research on this, by the way. There's some plastic versions. They don't have the expandability, and they're plastic. And so I don't think they're very pretty. Again, when you're really organizing, all of a sudden it becomes important that what you're organizing with isn't just a bunch of, like, shoe boxes anymore. You might cover your shoe boxes, that's fine. But it's beautiful to have beauty when you really are getting organized. So I really wanted something that looked good. If I was going to do this, I was going to really do it. And I love the fact that it doesn't matter. You can use them closed up. You can use them on separate shelves if you want to, and you can adjust them or you can use them right beside each other. Uh, it's so good because now when my husband wants that very specific cayenne pepper, uh, he knows where it is. My husband, he loves to cook, but he's notorious for just sort of shoving everything in our cabinets. But now we have it so nicely organized. And it's funny, Lisa, I have mine organized from the most used to the least used, but at least I can see them all and you can reach them all. But I put all the most used right in the front, like my salts, because we like using a lot of different salts. I'm just like that. I have all of mine. And the other thing too, is you can put, if you have a backstock, you can put the backstock up on the top shelf and then the ones that you use right here. So then you're constantly rotating them because nothing's going to get expired because you can see it, you can use it. Another way that we use these in clients' homes is for medicine because we all have the medicine, especially in the wintertime. I like to separate these and have a shelf of kids' medicine, a shelf with your daily supplements, cold and flu medicine. These are great for using in the cabinets, in the bathroom, the linen closet, the kitchen for those, or even in the pantry for the medicine. That's, uh, a, that's a great supplies. idea. Oh, beauty supplies too, absolutely. It's almost like creating yeah. your own shop, like your own store. If you think how stores lay out stuff, they want you to be able to see everything and be able to touch everything and reach it. It's kind of the same idea. If you want the black version, unfortunately, these are almost sold out. We have less than 200 left, so the black is not gonna be available. I'm okay right now on the white set. And a lot of people love white. I have white cabinets, I have a white place, so that's beautiful too. But if you do want the black, it is almost sold out. All right, we gotta keep moving on. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. To me, you can't get enough of these. You really can't. This is a great set of eight. And I've become really attached to clear organizers. And I have them in my cabinets. I, I should have probably taken a ton of pictures before I came in because I've got them everywhere. If you've got those drawers that just make you crazy, whether it's your silverware drawer, your junk drawer, whatever, and you just want to get it organized, maybe it's all your crafting supplies. Again, these are a must have. Now, it's a great set of eight and they're really good quality. If you go to those other stores that specifically um, 
um, their expertise is containers, if you know what I mean, you will spend a small fortune to get a set of those. And the quality is excellent. They're not flimsy little plastic clear pieces. And I've done the pricing, trust me, because you want the better quality plastic because if it's holding stuff, especially if you're pulling it out, you don't want it to bend, right? These are exceptional and I will tell you that price is fabulous. Just do a little research and then you can come back and see all of Lisa's line. Okay, well you can never have enough baskets in your house, quite frankly, because it is a very easy solution to getting organized. You don't have to be super particular. You can just toss all the stuff in and all of a sudden, once again, like the kids' toys or their stuffed animals in the bedroom, it looks great because all that mess is now hidden and gone. Lisa has created a wonderful textural faux rattan. We love rattan, but we hate it because it tends to fall apart pretty easy. Uh, we love Lisa's because she gives you the look, she gives you an unbelievable durability, but it's a faux. It's actually a poly rattan. We have two choices. Do we have three left, guys, or is there only two choices left? Okay, we're down to only two choices. We have the natural and we have the gray. The size is 14 and a half high by 15 inch in diameter. And then it is about 18 inches high when you're talking about the adding the handles to it. So it's your choice of. All right, Lisa, so why did you decide to create these? So again, I've been called the pantry queen on Instagram and I always use, I call these my pantry floor baskets because I don't like anything loose anything on the floor. So I created these for that in mind. But again, these can be used in so many different places. So when I help you organize your pantry, I'm gonna tell you uh, to do like with like. So here I have all my paper towels. It's labeled, right? Uh, this one is called, I call it my backstock bin. So this is all your backstock. So you use it in conjunction. I talked about my eat first bin this morning. So if you saw that, you understand why. All the open snacks are going to be up in your eat first bin. These are all the backstock unopened items. So you shop from your backstock, bring it up and use it. Then when this gets empty, then you know it's time to buy more. These are so versatile. And I use these in every single pantry that I organize. I love to put lunch boxes, paper towels, uh, reusable bags. We they can be in the linen closet like you showed earlier with all the loose toilet paper in it. These can be in a playroom with plush toys, uh, all the different blankets. You can roll up a blanket and put them in there. They're so versatile. And because they're poly rattan, you can wipe them down. These are not gonna shed. The rattan ones, they shed, they get little fibers all over the floor. These are not gonna happen. And the handles make it so easy to carry around. And also think about this, like in this one, I know, Lisa, you're not gonna weigh, like the way things are folded, but let me just show you how much this can hold. <laughs> this is simply for capacity, okay, Lisa? So ignore what I'm doing here. But that's one, two, this is all clothing. Three, four, five. Oh my, God, there's a lot. There's, that's a full sweater, six. Another sweater, seven. Another sweater, eight. We have a jacket, which again, Lisa would not recommend putting your jackets in like this, but it's okay. <laughs> this is just to show you capacity. That's nine pieces all in a basket that I can hold in my hand. So that's that's pretty awesome right there. When you can, It has a really nice capacity, Lisa, without being an overwhelming size. Yes, and like you mentioned, you downsize. So this could be seasonal storage. You could have all of your winter items in one basket and, and put it up on top of your closet shelf and free up that hanging bar for all your current season. So these are, like I said, so versatile. You put up, you can put these in a nursery and even use them for a hamper because you can wipe them down. There's so many different places. I have one friend that bought them and she uses them as a laundry basket in each of her kiddos rooms because this is all that she wants to get dirty before she needs to wash it. So once again, they're versatile. I love them in a pantry, linen closet, nursery, by the front door. You can set your things that you want to take out the next morning for a drop zone. Backstock, paper towels. There are so many ways. My friend even said she would put a potted plant in one. And I thought that's a beautiful idea as well. No, they are gorgeous too. And again, they're real working handles. They're that poly rattan, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be wimpy. They're not gonna like you said. They don't have those little fibers that are falling off all over the place. Um, they're just really, really sturdy. But they also give you texture. And Lisa, I really like that. I know when you add texture to any room, whether it is the linen closet or it's literally sitting out holding your throws, there's it adds a richness to the room when you have some texture to it. 
It absolutely does. It does. It, it soothes the eye. It gives your space, a, like you said, a little bit of texture. And again, these are made with a color so that if you have, say you have the gray over the door in your pantry, then you're going to want the gray baskets for the floor. If you have that taupe color, the natural looks beautiful with the taupe items. If you what, however you want to use them. They're perfect. They were, and here's the cool thing about it is we have about 700 left of each and the price is only good until midnight tonight. And that's what a this day only is. It's like a mini today special. Uh, the price will end at midnight. It will go up to $59.95 and really high quality. A lot of rattan you can buy anywhere. I mean, there's a lot of rattan out there, but they fall apart very quick or they're wimpy. You know, they're kind of lazy baskets. You know what I mean? Uh, these are really nice and sturdy. They're just a great way to be able to organize your life uh, and get that beautiful, find a finished look that I think we all crave. And like I said, if you're you're kind of a hot mess, and I get it, because a lot of a lot of us are, right? Go, go down this road with Lisa. Try something tonight. Whether it's just organizing your spices with that racks that I have, or it's getting the over the door piece that Lisa just mentioned. Maybe it's just doing that one drawer that she mentioned. It, you just don't understand how awesome it is when you're not digging. You have to move ten things to get to something else and it's all just right there in front of you. Life becomes very harmonious. It really is a big, big change. And it's little changes like this that start you down this road to being more organized and being happier. Quite frankly, everyone will be happier and you'll be happier. And even the long run lease, if you think about it, you do save money. You're not wasting things. You're not over buying things. You're not buying stuff that you, oh shoot, I already had three of those in the garage. I didn't need to buy <laughs> another one. Exactly. And Mike, I've never had a client that was disappointed that we organized them. I've never had one person be disappointed by getting organized. But I, I brought the linen basket back because I want to show you how beautiful the bamboo rim really? goes with this natural basket. Yeah. So I love, like I, I said, they mix and match. The, the lids on the jars go perfectly with these well. Everything is made to mix and match no matter what space you use it in. And I, I just think they're so beautiful. I absolutely love these. And like I said, I use them in every pantry that we organize. If you go to my Instagram page, you're going to see floor baskets in every single pantry that I organize. Yeah, and I do. They're just, and again, if you've got a lot of clutter and you just want to hide it really quick, it's another great answer to do that. So sometimes we just don't have time to get organized. And again, it could be the stuffed animals, the kids' toys, all the junk you have laying around your living room. And you just, even if you started there, if you just took all that stuff and put it in a basket and set it aside and you look around and go, gosh, my living room just even smells better. It definitely looks more relaxing. And then you can get in and get to the nitty gritty <laughs> like Lisa does but this is a great way to start it's awesome too if you want to use these I think this would be great for me if you have your own crafting room and you want to use it as an alternative for a trash can it's a would be a beautiful trash can I think so what about those my friends that crochet and knit I always see them yes. having all of their projects kind of all in a ball so guess what you could put all your little projects in here hide it away it's still out in the living room where you can grab it and watch your shows at night Watch us on HSN, right? And then put, pick up your project and, and knit and then have a beautiful place to put it back when you're done. These work everywhere. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I know. That's so many good ideas, guys. And definitely go to Lisa's uh, website. You can also go to her Instagram page and she gives you tons of tips and lots of ideas on how to use the products you're seeing here at HSN. Um, just a little quick update for you. The price ends at midnight tonight and you're getting very, very, you're getting really good quality because you know, you're like, oh, I've seen rattan elsewhere. You've never seen anything like this. This is very different than the rattan that you see. You ever see those rattan baskets and they're almost sad. They're like slumped over because they don't have any oomph to them. This is designed to really be strong and sturdy and it's a poly rattan. So again, you've got durability. You can wipe it out. Even if you put the wet snowy mess inside here, it's going to be okay. Unlike a traditional rattan basket, that stuff's going to melt if it gets wet. This will not. And Lisa, thank you. That was very practical. You did this out of a poly. <laughs> You're welcome, because like I said, I've used all the things. And so when I designed this basket, I'm like, it's gonna last. It has steel metal pieces in it. So like you said, it's not gonna bend. It's not gonna sl sl slouch down. It's gonna last you for a long, very long time. So it's an investment. 
in beautifying and organizing your home that you are not going to be disappointed. And the price point on it right now is crazy good. That is so good. And we have three flex. So if you want to spread your payments out over three months, you can just use a major credit card. You're in. Even a new shopper can be in. And there it is. Just if you put your toilet paper inside here. It's lovely to do that, you know. Maybe it is your paper towels. I love the paper towel idea because we got our paper towels a little bit scattered right now. Maybe it's the throws in the living room. Maybe it's all your magazines you want to get to. Maybe it's all the mail you haven't gotten to yet. And I know Lisa's got lots of tips to get you out from under that, but I am a mail collector. It takes me a while to get down to finally sit down and look at my mail. So just throw it in here and then get to it when you can. That's, there's my advice. Because I do think it can be, Lisa, a little overwhelming, <laughs> as you said, to start. So take baby steps, right? Is that your best advice? Yes, take baby steps. Like I said, have little victories that you can start and finish in 15, 20 minutes. My favorite thing is to put on the timer, put on some fun music, have a little dance party, and finish a space from start to, to completion. And you're gonna feel so much better because you've maximized your time, you've, you've done something productive, and you're one step closer to your whole home being organized. And do you find with your clients, Lisa, I've got about 30 seconds left, do you find that once they do that first project, let's say you're having them do it on their own, not you coming in, that they get hooked on it? Yes, it is addicting. I do a lot of virtual sessions too, so I'm not in their home. I'm just talking to them through the process. So they get started and pretty soon I've started with one space that I'm constantly getting text messages, even from clients that we do in home. Look what I did next. Oh my goodness, this is so addicting. I'm so excited. So one little victory is going to turn into a hundred victories and it's going to be, you're going to be, your life is going to change. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I love it. Well, Lisa, we want to mention the labels because you have shown them a lot. Let's look at these. What make, and again, I've got like 15 seconds. What do you love about your labels? Okay. The label is like the icing on the cake. And so again, I love to help kiddos and everybody in the family. I want it. I want to set you up for success. So by adding a label and these are little bin clips, so you can see they clip on, they have little edges around so here I put in some pretty cardstock and just wrote hand wrote a little baking label you can use a label maker and put that on there you can use a oil sharpie pen oh, fun. to write your if you have beautiful handwriting you can do that this look at this one this is, says Ashton oh. if you want to have one bin for each kiddo that's a that good their idea. stuff goes in yeah yep and Put by the way, if you've got yeah. your cricket, like a lot of us do, just make vinyl labels so you do it really pretty because my handwriting stinks. Okay, really quickly, Lisa, I do want to <laughs> do an update on the over-the-door organizer. This, again, is all brand new today. You're seeing it for the first time. I have, I think, still, what, three, four color choices available. Oh, we're down to only the gray, the white, and the taupe. I've sold out of one of the colors. So smart. Take that space that's unused and really make it part of your organizational plan. Uh, and it's great because we all have doors that aren't doing anything other than, you know, being a door. So why not take the space? No tools needed. Super, super easy to set up. Lots of different uh, depths in terms of the baskets. And I love the hooks on the bottoms. I think those are great. But again, smart price, a smart deal for a very limited amount of time. Lisa, it has been an absolute pleasure to meet you tonight and to work with you Yay. and welcome to hsn we can't wait for you to be back again thank you i'm so excited it was so wonderful to see all you guys tonight all right, thanks. Hey, by the way, a couple things to remind you of. Number one, Wednesday night at 11 p.m., I get to kick off our biggest jewelry event of the whole year. It's the wonderful Tucson event. And then I'll be joining Jay King at midnight to launch this bracelet. It is phenomenal. I'm so pumped about it. And we have multiple colors. And tomorrow night, please join me. I do a special crafting uh, show. It's on HSN's Facebook. We do a Facebook live show. It's 9.30 East Coast time. I have hundreds of people who join me every week and we have a ball. And and it's very different than what we do on the air. So I'll see you tomorrow night on Facebook. Hi there, Andrew Lesman here. Just to quickly let you know about a very exciting monthly special. Really, it's kind of like a monthly today special. Uh, this is going to be the best pricing of the year for our energy and fat metabolism factors. 
It's basically today's special pricing. Uh, it hasn't been featured in this fashion for several years. Uh, hopefully it'll last through the entire month. Uh, it is our most comprehensive product to support energy, short-term, mid-term, also combat fatigue long-term. It's a combination of all the nutrients you need to support energy metabolism, to also support fat-burning metabolism. It delivers carnitine, without which you can't burn fat, in its best form, form acetyl L-carnitine. Also delivers botanicals, Ashwagandha has been everybody's favorite botanical uh, adaptogen. Helps us adapt to stress. Helps support and combat. Helps support energy. Combat fatigue. You get ashwagandha. You get my incredible uh, ginseng extract. Twenty percent ginsenosides. You also get our Eleuthero extract. So there's no more comprehensive product to support energy combat fatigue to deliver the nutrients necessary to support energy metabolism, fat metabolism. I've always found this time of year, I always try to do a little better when it comes to diet, do a little better when it comes to exercise. And I always find that when my energy level is better, I make better decisions. So this is not just about supporting these things on a biochemical level, but also just supporting our intention, just supporting our decisions, because when we have that kind of support, when we feel better, um, we make better decisions. So enjoy our energy and fat metabolism factors at its best price for the year. Enjoy.